Cancel. Don't remember doing this at all. I can only hold myself accountable. Cancel. I object! Look how good my life is. So what else? Cancel me. Fan emoji is cancelled. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cancelled and another episode of the Tana and Brooke show. I love this show. It is just Brooke and I today for a very special Halloween episode. Yes, Tana is, I mean, it's unclear what she is. I really can't tell. <laughs> you are what you eat, guys. So when I'm not being cock, um, sorry, I'm I'm on It go. had to go there. Like, it's we're not I'm, even 30 seconds in. It's literally, I'm just single. I'm like very feisty. I'll get into that in a second, but I'm I'm being a pickle today was the point. So if you, pickle the audio like. listeners, you are missing out on a treat today. This is the only time I'll ever be in a Halloween costume that covers me. And it is unclear what I am. I was under the impression that I was a prisoner until I realized I was, um, I perhaps might also direct traffic. So. Oh, because the, because the, um, like, why would I need to be reflective shiny? in prison? Unless yeah. I'm running away. I guess that's, Oh, Maybe that's probably that's a thing for like the flashlights. But I don't, word on the street is the prisoners don't really wear this anymore. Brooke called me today and she goes, look, I'm my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom's was a, a, like a cute nude. It looked like it was like. like the, a cute you know, nude. No, you know, those like the Glossier, like the people who work at Glossier all wear like the like. Like nude jumpsuit. Yeah. Like a Skims vibe almost. It's so cute. Your mom uh, no, was federal, in prison. Yeah, federal prison. It's like Mar Martha Stewart went there. You have like iPads and hair salons and shit. They have hair salons in There's federal prison. Yes. That's so fucked up. Because I, I was literally just listening to Tasia Alexis's podcast and she went to like prison prison and she was telling me how people would just like, sh or not you me. You do not want to go to state me. prison. I'm pretty sure Orange is the New Black Orange is the new black is they like prison. shit on the floor and shit there. There's crazy shit that. Happens. Yeah, no federal prison. It's like like there's like it's like it's a camp. She said that some of her friends, not her friends, but like her prison. Fr I don't fucking know. Gathered their period blood in a bowl and poured it on a bitch in oh. fucking prison. I'd be really upset if that happened to me. I'd end it all right there. there I would, there's nothing I could live for if that happened. But uh, yeah, iPads, that's good. I mean, when I was um, in court one time, my lawyer told me that if I um, went to jail, it'd be like fun jail, like federal fun jail. No, some like, people, be fine. honest to God, I think about that all the time. Like if I were like, like maybe homeless or something. I feel like I would want to go to jail. Right. Just oh, to I like don't. have a place to stay. Do you think the jail I, culture order, is going Imagine to having like a forced routine in your life. I honestly need a forced routine. No, j life. jail would literally, jail would save my life if you think about it because I'd, I'd be sober. I'd be non-toxic. My problem, I just need someone to force me to not be lazy. I have to tell you a secret. Um, we I found out recently that I am in fact lazy. Okay. <laughs> I did. No. I did receive my Lyme results. <laughs> so Brooke. In the mail. <laughs> so Brooke. I literally don't have Lyme disease and I'm just lazy. I hate you. <laughs> like <laughs> you don't understand the the cruel that's so insane. She's been waiting to tell me this all fucking day. I know I'm like tearing up. I feel <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude. I feel like I offended the Lyme community, but I really thought I was a part of it. I oh. I wholeheartedly believed, like I, I like with every bone in my body, I knew that I had Lyme disease, and I was like, uh, like how am I going to work through this? What do you think about potentially just having hypochondria? That could be, but what yeah. what happens is I, my severe severe iron deficiency does mimic the the symptoms of Lyme. That's so fair. that does. Wait, I have iron deficiency, and I also thought I had Lyme at one point, but in reality, we're just yes. like lazy and also with iron deficiency. But I also, the supplements that I was taking, I realized I've, I don't take them enough. So I've had that same bottle for so many years that it's like, it's like, they're it's, probably baby, they don't work anymore. Something. So I ordered new ones, and now I'm feeling, my, I'm feeling like myself but again. But you don't have Lyme disease. I'm actually so excited for you to not have Lyme disease because I swear well, to God. I am God, too. It's not like I wanted to have Lyme. I just wanted an explanation for why I felt so awful. I would literally be like, Brooke, can I borrow your shirt? And she'd be like, like, no, you can't wear that shirt. It's because I have Lyme disease. Or like, hey, Brooke, let's go to dinner. No, I can't because I have Lyme disease. I'm going to admit, it's, I did milk it dry. So I do owe you a little bit of an apology. Oh, oh my God. I think this is the first time Brooke has ever apologized that, to me on the cancel I, podcast. Okay, on the Not cancel in general. <laughs> Girl, you're, you better be glad you clarified that one i apologize all the time <laughs> um we actually took a week off um i took a week off it's we kinda... didn't technically take a week off we just filmed a podcast that tana didn't like very much well we i mean it, they, it kind of coincides with why i wanted to take time off even if i liked that one i felt like it'd be too short once we took out all the shit that we couldn't say Could but not say we went to miami and we shot on a yacht and shot a yacht cast which is so annoying that 
all we decided to talk about was my fucking toxic relationship. Yeah, and the like, potential was there, but honestly, it was it was a little bit embarrassing. I feel like we didn't want the people to see us that way. 100%. Anyway. And then, of course, as soon as we talked about how toxic my relationship had just gotten, I actually ended up finally. That's called manifestation. Breaking up with Chris. We broke up. Um, I'm single. That was the other reason why I kind of took a week off and didn't try to, like, shoot another one quick because I just wanted to, like, try to get back in the right headspace. Yeah, I get that. How are you feeling? How's that? <laughs> How's that going? We did see him. It's last really night. strange. Um, yeah, I mean, we hadn't seen each other since we broke up, and then I finally saw him last night for the first time. That's amazing in itself because the we've been we all have been placing bets like what are the odds Chris Miles walks through the door tonight? No, one hundred. But I just knew that it was it's so far gone past the point that if like he walked through the door now, I would be like disowned by my friends not because yeah. of just him but because it's like we can't fuck it's hard too because up. you live with everybody like I, when i want to sneak around i can do it and nobody has to oh know. yeah no 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 um point being i just kind of um as much as i would love to air out the details of our breakup and continue my toxic cycle of posting absolutely everything i fucking do online i do think that because it's like for real this time and it was actually like hurtful and shitty and shitty for the both of us you know what i mean I don't want to really air it out. I will say I am Gross. a fucking loyal, sexy icon, and I may or may not have caught this man doing something he shouldn't have been doing. Not his dick wasn't in anything, but it was just nasty, and I was really fucking pissed. And and then I got really fucking spiteful. Spiteful as fuck. As fuck. I actually, um, we were at a party, basically, and I, I found out something he did from the person he did it with, the girl type of thing, whatever happened. But it's, it's not, I, again, he didn't cheat. It was just not a good action. And it also the person he used to fuck her before we started dating. Yeah. So and like, should, there's a lot of like contextual things that contributed to like. And I really like bad. her as a friend and I, I like her a lot. So I don't want to like. She's just known for being really I don't know crazy what, yeah. and wild in L.A. So it was just like a, oh, I don't know, big slap in the face. But I instantly looked at Chris and said, we're done, and then started hooking up with my other, like, kind of ex at the party in front of him. Ugh. Break my heart in 10 pieces. Not Brooke wanting to fuck my literal ex. He's not your He's ex, not. first of all. We dated in Australia. But that was it. That was the only time. And it was very quick. And so I don't even really consider him an ex. To be, we we were should like, clarify yeah. first that I am not trying to date Tana's ex. Oh, no, no, it no. Is a he's just that, so hot. He's so I, hot. And I feel like it's almost a rite of passage for everybody to get to, like, experience it just once. Well, he is known. He's rumored by... Because he fucks a lot of girls. And, like, so a lot of girls talk about this. He is known in L.A. for having, like, the biggest... Hacking serious Biggest, heat, biggest, y'all. biggest, biggest dick in L.A. And that was why I wanted to do it, too. Because I was just like, I could use a giant I know, but horse cock. Oh, that... Come, come on. She, we went out and she was literally in a relationship so I was so excited he's like talking to me he's like he goes Tana can I take Brooke on a date and she goes I was no, no, sick no, no. I know I actually said something way worse but what yeah you, you think- said something way worse but I'm not gonna air you out that way that was honestly really nice of you I was expecting you to fully say what I said because I, I I stand by I it. would love to but I don't, I, I don't want to look like I'm a Tana exposer <laughs> Um, but I mean, no, you could just totally know that I had the chance and you it was all there and I've been wanting to for so long. You should give it a whirl. And now, then I Tana was to... like, you know what? Actually, if it was any other night in LA, I would have been like, give it a fucking whirl. But because I just found out my boyfriend like fucking did something. We just broke up. He also was very jealous over this person, our entire relationship. And I was very jealous over the girl that he did something with. So that it was, was, like it an, was a really perfect like, like eye situation. for an eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I had a dream actually two nights before that, that I sucked this guy's dick. Not mm-hmm. my ex, but this guy, like the other guy that I did suck his dick like later that night. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know what I mean? <gasps> my uh, <laughs> my friend was saying this to me, me the other day that like uh, girls always will like have a dream and then you wake up and you're like, my entire life's changed. I have to do it. Like, it's such a girl thing. Yeah. But I really woke up and I was like, damn, I should really suck his dick again. But then I went into the bathroom of the club that we were at and fucked him in the bathroom. She did. And then took him home and fucked him again. Um, sorry, Chris. So hurtful. Um, I just, I was mad. I was, I was fucking mad and I had to get it out of my system. Since then, I've been a wholesome virgin, though. That's the only person I've hooked up with since I've been broken up. But it was 30 minutes after your breakup. That was well, yeah, so I impressive. Get it out of my system. No, right honestly, I love All the holes. It. She's agile. She is incredible. She is a I've natural been, born talent. I mean, I just... I was sick. I was furious. I'm still I get that though. Like the, the rage it. that just like comes over you. I, I, girl, I would do anything. Right. You know what I mean? And it was just like, and I, we already had just been like fighting so much about so much stuff. So it's like, that was just like, I was like, oh my God. 
Yeah. I'm getting on my knees in the middle of this bar. I, I wish I had had a situation like that. That's what I should have done at that, that night at Poppy. But yeah, I one hundred percent. Speaking of that night at Poppy, actually, we told this story on the last Tana Brooke cast, right? About um, Brooks, boo on and off boo thing, hooking up with a girl that we knew, and then I like post her and whatever. Everyone on earth thought it was Alyssa Violet and Sammy Wilk. Uh, they thought the story was about Alyssa Violet and Sammy Wilk. All my comments are like, "So Brooke hates Alyssa Violet." All the comments are like, "So Brooke's fucking Sammy Wilk." Sammy Wilk is so hot, and trust me. If that were if that were the guy we're talking about, I would honestly probably like air I'd be it from so the rooftops. Much. But unfortunately, it's not. He's like really, really like in deep with like one of my best friends right now. It's so not like, that deep. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally just in like go mode. I've been I've been bad. You're going to jail. I'm sorry with you. Get it? Oh my god. I'm like um, <laughs> come on over. Yeah. Um. No. But so everyone thought that that story was about Alyssa. I wish it was about Sammy Wilk. Honestly, so hot. It's Love you, not Sammy. about. Um, Alyssa Violet at all. It's about this other girl. Um, Who are? I'm just kidding. It's really interesting because this is fucked up to say. Well, tell me if this is fucked up. Actually, let me ask you, okay? Do you ever... So I met this girl, right? That this, your story was about. Kind of on a... It wasn't a double date, but it was like we we met up somewhere with a bunch of other people but then uh, like us four were hanging out and it was me and Chris and this yeah. girl that you're talking about and her current boyfriend right and even from the moment i saw him i was like i think i love you you know what i mean about this guy like i just and we were i won't say did i already say where we were at no i won't say where we were cuz i don't want to like expose it um but like him and i were just vibing in that moment whatever and so i will Tell me if this is wrong, okay? And like, I, I hate to girl, admit you know if it's I wrong. Will. I know you will. I will do this thing where it's like, let's say I meet a girl and a guy and they're they're either dating or they're breaking up or they're exes or whatever. If I think the guy is hot and the girl is trying to get close to me, even if I like her and would want to be her friend, I will go out of my way to kind of dodge her and purposefully yeah, not get as close. if you know that like in the future you have intent at all. To fuck her man. You don't want to eventually don't be, be her close. friend. Yeah. Yeah, so I like from day one have like she'll always ask me to hang out she'll always facetime me she'll always do a bunch of shit and i'll like purposefully not engage as much as i would in a normal situation because i've known that i always wanted her man do you need to renew your birth control prescription or get one whether you know the brand you want or want help finding the best option the pill club medical team has your back the Pill Club is a birth control subscription prescribed by a medical professional and delivered straight to your door in discreet packaging for free. The Pill Club carries over 120 FDA approved brands. Most brands of birth control are free with insurance or Medicaid. Otherwise, prices start as low as $7 per month without insurance. Right now, when you go to thepillclub.com slash canceled, the Pill Club is offering a $10 donation to bedsider.org for every canceled with Tana Mojo listener who becomes a patient. Your donation will help low-income individuals get access to birth control through bedsider.org. That's thepillclub.com slash canceled to get your first birth control care package and donate to help more women in need of affordable birth control. Remember thepillclub.com slash canceled. You must use the link to make a donation. I don't know. It's, it is wrong. Like, I do think it's wrong, but it's like not that wrong. I mean, I just, I, it's not like, it's no, not like it was my friend and I stopped being her friend. No, like, we know, I never is, got it's, close. It's right, like, the, the where you are right is like, purposefully not getting close with her because like obviously that's, that's then gonna if be I a problem in the future that's like a f problem that I'm having right now you know I have like this huge crush on this guy who's like half dating a girl that I'm like a well I thought you were gonna with. full circle it and say you have a huge crush on my horse cock ex but continue sorry Ugh, I wish um but continue but I, you keep telling me like why would you not just do it and I'm like well it's like awkward because I've been in situations where I was there with both of them and they were together yeah and like that just made like makes me feel guilty because it's like I obviously know about them well i think we all know that you definitely feel more guilt than me more guilt than the average person. i feel more guilt than any person Anyone. on this because the guiltiest person i know she like wakes up with guilt for nothing it's so funny and i'm kind of opposite i'm like i don't really give a fuck unless i have it's like so, that. i'm like the guiltiest person of all time um, i always feel like i've just killed someone but also to be fair i mean we can attest to this from our story that we said last the story that you told last week about what she did to you I don't really think she might be the best friend to me and i do think he's a good guy listen this is what i'll tell you about her this is how I feel. This is my opinion. I feel as though she will do anything to increase her follower count 
and stay relevant in the social media space right now. And I feel like that's her main priority. I found out some when tea about her doing talk, that, actually. Like when, when she's choosing her friends, that's what she's thinking. So 100%. I don't feel like that's like a loyal friend who's just trying to get to know you. Yeah, like and wants honestly, to be like, around sorry. you. He's a 10, bro. I got to do what I And he's do. hot. And she's dated 17 people since then. So I really don't actually think that she cares that much. Okay. Honestly, I love that entire conversation. I feel like fully vindicated. Thank so this you. past week, we celebrated two birthdays. The first one being Hunter's. Um, happy birthday, Hunter. Happy birthday, Hunter. We actually spent the entire yacht cast trying to like vindicate him because Brooke and I realized we dug ourselves into a deep hole. Yeah, it was really like, I, and I get where it came from because if I had heard that story as like an innocent bystander, I'd be like, wow, that guy's fucking awful. Yeah, but we, yeah, so we're referring to the fact that um, on the podcast with Lila, we told the story about Hunter that painted him in a very awful light and don't get me wrong like it's tr a true story but we also played it, was, it up that's a lot the thing. it was a true story but we like there's a lot of things that go into that that you don't really think about like first of all all the awful things that we've done to hunter that was like the and and i i guess that sometimes you and i also forget the fact that like a lot of comments kept saying like so all of their friend group is just them being shitty to each other and they think that's like quirky and cute and i was kind of like well like 10 percent, that's like true i mean yeah, like it's like fun it's like we're all <laughs> definitely you know we all have moments where we're all a little you know forgetful or we fuck something up or we're shitty and that well, was i think i have like i think all of us have like lapses where we're just like we think selfishly and we act selfishly yeah the thing that we did we did get wrong about that story though is that he like we were like okay he got all these people tickets he got Brianna and he got Nisha tickets and then Robert and all of them bought their own tickets. I, okay. I guess fair. I guess fair. No, I'm just kidding. But I mean, actually like at the end of the day, it just, it ended up causing a lot of problems because Hunter was literally getting like tens of thousands of death threats and like yeah. that. Well, it sucks. just, it was awful. And the way that the Hunter like explained it to me, like, cause I, I came at him privately and was like, like, why would you not invite us? Like, that's mean. And yeah. I want to go. Obviously P Davidson was there. I want to go. And what he, like the way he explained it to me was like, how could I possibly invite you and not everybody? Like if, if yeah. he invited me, you'd be mad. I, you didn't get invited. If he invited and you and I, get, Ari would get mad he wasn't invited. And it was just like, there's too many of us. I was honestly just happy as well that I didn't end up going because Modson was there and that would have been the most awkward interaction of literally my entire life. I love you, Modson. Um, <laughs> Right. No, Um, but I, the point being is it's like, we just like, we love Hunter to death and he's our best friend no matter what. And we all have moments where we like do things like that. I think when he finally comes back on the podcast, I sh we should just let him tell like eight fucking stories where we sucked. Yeah. So people realize like we all love each other. We all have a little lapse now and again and like stop death threatening him. But anyways, to make up for if that. If Hunter dies, we both die. 110%. Hunter had a birthday party at our house and it was very, very, very lit. It was really fucking fun. It Everyone was came. really fun. You was, have a, the, the house you have right now, I think it's my favorite house so far that you've had four parties particularly because it's like your last house was just too big where it was like no one could be all like confined in one area yeah or like 500 people would show up because everyone knew yeah and there was, was and literally like seven floors so like yeah. people were in every bedroom every corner yeah. of the house and it was like and it was so far up in the hill like no yeah. one could get there this house is great because it's like everybody's all in one place it's a very open, open like backyard yeah. it was and it was just an amazing group of people because i feel like when i throw a party for like me or even you or just like more la people like everyone comes but we kind of set this up as like if you know hunter comes so it just ended up being like all of our closest friends some of the dopest people in la yeah. sexy motherfuckers so many sexy motherfuckers i made out with jeff wittick at this party that hurts me. And I, the only reason I'm saying that uh, is because we kissed on camera first. He's so hot. And I never thought that would happen, right? Like, I always jokingly flirt with Jeff when I see him. And then he fucking showed up to my, I hate that I'm saying this is a pickle. Like, he's going to watch that this clip and never fucking. This is getting clipped on. You're going to be on TikTok Pickle Rick talking about Jeff. No, 100%. Wouldn't. I mean, I just never thought Jeff would ever kiss me, let alone multiple times. I'm like, even Jeff, know. what's going on? Like, you know what I mean? And then he showed up and he was like, I'm not fucking David. I fucking want you. Like, he was just being like bold as fuck. And then we kissed on camera. He and is. I love how like straightforward he is. Like I he has know. the best sense of humor in that way. Like where and he's so just like funny. So hot. I Yeah. My love for David might be transferring over to Jeff, which is kind of good. Because if you think about it with everything that's happened between them, Jeff almost needs more love than David. Yeah. I'll save you, baby. No, just me. Jeff's hot, but I Jeff Jeff is too hot, like, in my opinion. Like, where I would never... I, I know, he's, like, like pretty. Like, he's like, like, you know your man is prettier than you. He's, like, that type, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But just, like, I, it almost... 
in my opinion, it's like Jeff actually is hot with a good personality. So that's like a rare find. But I almost feel like those people are reserved for like the Kylie Jenner's of the world. Speaking, that's actually so true. That like so it's true. you pick one or the other and I choose personality. But I feel like he has like a lot of trauma. But that, I also think that's so hot. So it's like, God, that's I perfect. love. Yes, I you love a little I mean? trauma bond. Speaking of hot and so funny, Pete Davidson, you just brought him up. What about him? I just thought about this and I, I haven't talked about it at all. And I've been getting thousands of tweets asking my opinion on it. Oh, my God. I called you about this yesterday. I forgot. Pete Davidson played Jake Paul on SNL. Who's Jake Paul? Fair fucking point. I'm the way that like Pete Davidson or Jake Paul could also see this. And I just think this is horrible. Um, you are the cutest pickle I ever saw. Well, thank God you think that uh, I'm also a sloth. Um, You're a but hot pickle. I should have been a sloth for Halloween, a slutty sloth played into that joke I'm so I'm actually just so glad that you didn't I'm actually very glad I didn't do that as well that hurts me a lot because the more that Pete Davidson interacts about Jake Paul makes me feel like he has seen some form of inkling of my existence because if you're playing someone you're also researching them you're like researching their life if you google him like I'm coming up like you know what I mean it makes me think I feel like he, he would know who you you're everywhere I mean one time at MGK's birthday I was like hi and he's like hi Tana but I don't think that means fucking any daddy like you know what I mean I'm just saying I think that he definitely has probably seen me in a light like that and been like ugh like the all chances are just out the window after him playing Jake Paul on SNL I feel like yeah that was it super embarrassing me. when he married him it's super yeah it's super I'm just kidding i know me. you don't feel that way but no i i, I do i i'm getting i'm trying to okay <laughs> i don't have I, I don't i don't even know him like that i just talk a lot of shit about him because i feel like he was awful to you but fair enough we stand logan paul on this podcast speaking of being awful and hunter's birthday not that hunter was awful just in tune but do you know i was i got mad at hunter again after his birthday actually um no but this one like I'm wrong here. I just want to tell the story because I'm. It's so fucking annoying to me. But it's like I can't be annoyed because I know I'm wrong. You know what I mean? Which do so when Chris Miles and I broke up, um, he left a suitcase of all of his clothes from us being in Miami at my house, and I, I was mad for several several reasons, and I felt like I had a right to be mad. And unfortunately, when I'm mad, I I get a little petty. And so he was kind of asking for his suitcase of all of his stuff back. And I kept saying, like, no, no, like, you can get it later. Well, I don't know when you picked that up, but that's been your move for the past, like, three months. Is with like, Chris. With, he, is withholding his belongings. I think that it's sad because it's like when you think someone's going to abandon you or leave you, you, like, do things to, like, stop them from should, that. And I, and I realize that. I get, like, no, I, yeah, I, I do get it, but it's like. But that's when I the, the light switch finally flipped. It's like you don't want to be with someone where you're always afraid that they're going to like leave you and block you. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm yeah. not saying that against him. I know he has like a lot of like I have issues too. Like, I'm not saying like that. I'm just saying. But this one wasn't because I was afraid he was going to leave. It was more so just like have fun with your whores. You can get your fucking Miami pants back in a month. You know what I mean? And that was how I really felt. And then Amari and I were actually going to take all of his clothes out, fill the suitcase with Orbeez and then tell him it was outside. In jail. And I like I bought the Orbeez. I was like this close. But then I was like, that's a little too far. <laughs> I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Um, I got less mad over a couple days. You know, Amari's still just as mad. Um, I'll get into that in a second. But um, Hunter, Chris texted Hunter asking for a suitcase back. And Hunter being the good fucking guy he is. Hunter also didn't know this was like my whole plan. Left Chris's suitcase outside. And honestly, good for Hunter. Very make sure your friends are okay of him. Him and Chris are like great friends. Here's I hate the thing. To say I feel like when you do something like that, it's like that that's like implying that you don't think it's really over because that's like that you want to see him again or you want to have like have an excuse to see him again. And if you really thought that it was like, okay, this is it, that's over, you would just give a shit back and not care. You're literally right. And I had to just accept that. And I probably would it'd probably still be in my fucking closet right now, but I'm glad Hunter did that in hindsight because this holiday season, I want to give a gift to my loved ones that makes them feel special and unique, just like the relationship we share. That's why I'm giving everyone I care about story worth. StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your loved ones preserve precious memories and stories for years to come. It is a thoughtful and meaningful gift that connects you to those who matter most. Every week, StoryWorth emails your relative or friend a thought-provoking question of your choice from their vast pool of possible options. Each unique prompt asks questions you've never thought to ask, like what's the bravest thing you've ever done in your life? Or if you could see the future, what would you want to find out? After one year, StoryWorth will compile all of your loved ones' stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book that you'll be able to share and revisit for generations to come. Reading the weekly stories helps connect you with loved ones, no matter how near or far apart you are. 
You better actually get it for me for Christmas. You want that shit? You'll answer every question via email? Yeah. I'm like, what's okay. the bravest thing I've ever done? <laughs> Yours would be really funny, actually, to put into an entire book at the end of the year. I actually think I'm going to use StoryWorth this holiday season to keep up with all of my ex-boyfriends. Don't you think that'd be a beautiful gift? That is a really smart gift. What are you going to do with StoryWorth, Brooke? I don't know. I mean, I, I maybe my mom. Yeah. My sisters. Send it to her in jail at the end of the year. Yeah. You like make a whole thing. How That's cute. beautiful. She's like handwriting it. We love you, StoryWorth. I can't wait. <laughs> With StoryWorth, I am giving those I love most a thoughtful personal gift from the heart and preserving their memories and stories for years to come. Go to StoryWorth.com slash Tana and save $10 on your first purchase. That's StoryWorth.com slash Tana. We went to Boa for Amari's birthday dinner and he fucking blacked out of his mind as one does on their birthday. This is like the drunkest Amari's been all year for sure. And then we leave Bo and the paparazzi's outside asking me about my relationship and Amari continuously, not once, not twice. Two and a half times. Two and a half times. Chris Miles is broke. And I'm sitting there drunk being like, I just want to be friends. Like, I think he's a great guy. Like, you know, I just want to move on and like, we'll be friends. Amari comes in. Chris, Chris Miles is broke. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the second it happened, I got in the car and I just go, fuck like that's gonna be so fucking bad I mean tomorrow. it's not your fault like it's like you can't be responsible for what someone else is doing drunk but I debated punching the paparazzi is, and stealing his SD card though for sure yeah well it's just like that's like it's a it's a low blow for sure it didn't come from your mouth so it really doesn't matter but like yeah Chris Miles called me the next day utterly so upset he unfollowed Amari and Amari's boyfriend on everything Aww. it's so funny too because Amari woke up comes to my room and Amari's mad as fuck and I'm like why are you mad and he's like why the fuck would Chris Miles unfollow me like I know I said that but I'm like how That's are you gonna be not- mad that he's mad when you yelled that he's motherfucking broke to the paparazzi like, yeah like it would have been f- honestly that would have been hysterical and it we would have like like I would have been so excited about that had it been like any other guy you've ever dated. That's so but true. But I just think Chris is so like he I like mean, a Brad Sousa. He, is obviously broke. he's what a been hit. yeah. Brad Sousa is broke, babe. But still so hot. Ew. I no. keep, Chris I, Miles. Chris Miles. Brad Sousa. Like I. Chris, Chris has done his wrong. Okay, he's not perfect. I'm not gonna. I'm not here to like make him sound like an angel. But out of all the guys you've dated, I think I, Chris Miles is definitely everyone's favorite. All of us saw him last night and all of us were like, he, know. What, he, you know what he said to Ari? He goes, he goes, oh, it was actually really sad. He goes, I feel like we got divorced and I have you for the night. <laughs> oh, I know. And then he kept saying he, he'll be like Ari's stepdad and shit. I was like, yeah. deadbeat stepdad. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we actually had a great night last night. Chris performed a bunch of songs about me. I avoided, we hosted. I know, I couldn't night. believe you missed it. What I will say is missed I think. Missed it. Baby, I was hiding from it. See, I couldn't have done that though. Had like, you know, my little. Yeah. My little guy had been performing. I would have been there. I would have been there. Yeah. But I mean, all of Chris's music that he performed was like about me. And it was just like, I didn't want the crowd to see me like. (gasps) They saw me, Paige, Kyla, Ari in the front. Like, why? I mean, like, I support him always, you know, 100 percent. It's funny because so last night we went to an event that our friend, I should like preface all of this, um, that my best friend, you're a great friend, our best friend, Diablo, was putting on. And like Ethan performed, Lil Mosey performed, um, Comethazine, just a bunch of rappers and like that type of like trap vibe, whatever. And Chris was one of the performers. And then I got put on it to host it. And it's funny because we had the fattest scandal all week because I had Diablo make Chris a flyer with his name and me a flyer with my name. And both of our flyers didn't have each other's names. I heard I, like, I heard that you got him removed from the lineup. Well, everyone just like the, Assumed the press. Yeah, like took that and fucking ran with it. Like I, I was. Okay, so- yeah. Then clarify that because I was like, she's evil. No, <laughs> no. Everyone was saying that. They're like, you're such an asshole. Like you got him removed from a show he was performing on first. Like whatever. And I think Chris thought that too. No, it was just that I, at the time, I'm now no longer like mad. I, I do forgive him. But I was like furious at him. And I was like, I'm not going to fucking promote him any further. Like yeah. I want like my own flyer or whatever. I but then, that. so then we all went to the event. Chris performed. I hosted. It was so much fucking fun. It was a lot of fun. I left, you know, I left. So there was a performer on the lineup. A guy I talked to kind of at the beginning of quarantine. Wait. I told you about this. Did you leave of. to fuck him? No, no, no. Oh, I thought you did. No. I met so, him last night. I was like, my friend Brooke has a lot of nice things to say about you. That's awful that you said <laughs> that. 
Because so I so at the be- very beginning of quarantine, I saw honestly this was like it's such a it was such a thirsty brook moment. I watched his genius like I, I watch all the like yellow background genius yeah. lyrics explained videos. Yes. My so favorite saw- is the Gabby Hanna monster one. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm a monster. <laughs> what? The- oh my gosh, she's so um. funny. So I watched his thing and I was like, you know, he's kind of cute. So I DM'd him. And we started hanging out. And we were hanging out for like a while and he's like, he, he was a cool guy. Like I, I really yeah, liked him, whatever. And he looks like, like Caillou. He does. I hate the way he looks. He, I hate, well, you know what? I wish he had face tats. We, I, but I look we at my know face. by now that looks are not a priority for Brooke Schofield. Yeah, me either. So, I'm but not, he, he, he had a great personality. He was like, he was just a cool guy. He's yeah. really talented, whatever. So I was like all excited. And all of a sudden, he just like disappears off the face of the earth. Come to find out he had a full girlfriend that entire time. You have to stop pickling, doing your thing with your pickle because it's making me. I'm actually so sorry. <laughs> I drank a lot of Red Bull and I'm having You're anxiety so because fidgety. I'm sober. Like and I don't have my puff. Like normally that's my like, oh. ADHD fidget. Oh my God. I, I should have noticed. I've been like so like my lungs have been so clear this yeah. whole time. Visual listeners. So visual, anyway, he had a right. secret girlfriend this whole time, but she was long distance. So he like was able to just like get away with that. And that's so shady. Up. Okay, so he ended up moving to another state because like property <laughs> taxes or something. Like, I don't know why. That made me and in well, in quarantine, he was just spending so much money to live here, and he went and got this like insane house in another state. Can't say the state. I don't want to like incriminate him. Yeah, but fucking cheater. But you said he was in the lineup. So he gets back. No, he so he he's with this girl. Like he has like a whole ass girlfriend, and I'm seeing them together now on Instagram. And I'm like, Did maybe I don't think. Him? I'm like I don't think they ever broke Did up. Did you hook up with him? It doesn't matter. No. But no. that's on him. No. no, you're not a home wrecker. Well, and I'm not here how to was I condemn to know? anyone for Well, home who knows? Maybe they could have been like on a break or something. I don't know. But like a few months ago, he was in town. Yeah. And he texts me. He's like, hey, I'm in LA. Like, what are you doing? And I was like, let's go to dinner or whatever. So we go to dinner and we're on our way to dinner. The way you went to dinner with this man is <clears> so famous. Like, is he not afraid of getting like fed it out? No, he doesn't. He's not like a like a paparazzi fan. He has huge songs, but no one knows who he is. Oh, gee. He, I'm in the car, I'm sitting in the car and he gets a text on his little screen. On CarPlay? On, yeah, on the, on the Bluetooth. And it goes like, okay, babe, talk to you later. No, did you say, did you just sit there? Or did you say something? I just pretended I didn't see it. Oh, and you're, I, you're, like, you're the bigger person. Well, I, be because like, what was I going to do? Get out? Like, like, I just pretended yeah. I didn't see it. So I was like, oh my God. So I text Jazzy, my, at the time she was my roommate. Yeah. And I text her and I'm like, emergency i need you to get out me out of this situation and jazzy's the best for that shit so she like she literally was like she calls me she's like he just broke up with me she didn't have a boyfriend <laughs> now I she's married her. yes she, <laughs> jazzy's the friend who's not married call, she calls me and she's like he, please like she's she's pretend sobbing and she's like crying and i'm and i hang up and i'm like and i I'm, i played it so well i was like oh it's okay like i don't have to go like she'll be fine or whatever and he's like wait like I mean, she's really sad, like whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right, I should go. So I had him drop me off back at home and I just literally, we never even went to dinner or anything. Never talk, that's actually fucking We, we were only together for like 30 minutes, but as soon as I saw the text, I was like, I'm not, like that's awful. CarPlay like, is the devil though. I will say that I've had so many of my life's moments. Boyfriend. You're bold as fuck to keep your text coming up on CarPlay if you're gonna have some other girl in your car. Like literally yeah. this girl lives with him in his house in a, in a whole different state. It's like, yeah. It's like, what do you think I'm like, and they're, so public on like social media so it's like so all i have to do is i don't i don't even follow him really anymore he like randomly dm me that time and he was just like oh let's just grab dinner and i thought it was like friendly so i was like oh that'd be fine but it was just weird that's honestly really fucking weird but yeah he was there last night i don't even fucking know Fuck but i saw him. oh that sorry that was the most important part of the thing he showed up with her last night she was there and yes they were together kissing holding hands and i literally no. i couldn't even acknowledge him i was oh i literally God. just like because what was i gonna do i was dressed as like the sluttiest powerpuff girl of oh, all time yeah. and she was in like a like a like a respectable, respectable. outfit so i was like i can't say hi to him like they were and i i just looked at him That's and awful. you don't know what happened because you didn't like i don't think at the time you even knew who he was but you dragged me past him literally like hit him like i was like oh, oh my god now i feel absolutely horrible for looking at him while his girlfriend was standing next to him and saying my friend brooke has said really great things about you. well i left the second that they got there because i was like oh. oh is that why you left did you go uh fuck your ex last night i don't really think we even have to talk about that at all <gasps> Oh, it's God. the way that I I did after I seen Chris Miles last night. We like all went to a party and then Kyla lives in the same complex as him. And so like we were just like all hanging out for a second. And then I like went to bed. 
Um, you hung out with Chris Miles last night? How are you going to talk shit to me? No, I no, but everyone knew because Amari, being the terrible person he has, tracked my location and sent it to the group chat. Like Tana's at Tana's what at group chat? his apartment complex. The one in the world and it happened last oh. night. Um, oh, I was busy. And <laughs> right. And though it's the way that everyone fucking condemned the absolute shit out of me for even remotely hanging out with him. And then Brooke is just out here. Oh my God. It's okay. Whatever. No, I didn't we do all any, fuck I our didn't do anything again. bad. No, it was okay. I love a good revisit. Listen, he's been blocked for a month. Everybody, everybody's sending me nice messages that I like should be above him and better than him, whatever. He well, really now you were under him and over no, him I and wasn't. on top of him and no, I wasn't. behind him. We're friends. We he's unblocked because he really he made a good case she's like we're friends really <laughs> stop he really like he made really, a good case for the 18th time really uh, you're right i no, sound i sound so stupid it's okay though i love you and obviously who am i to talk about being on and off with anyone so do your you guys i can't thing. help it oh my this God, is I my forgot. first bad bad situation <laughs> I loved that. I loved that sympathy moment. It is. Nice. Um, I also first forgot one. to say uh, that Adamari's birthday, after he was blacked out like this, I, I'm going out of order. I'm sorry, but after he was so blacked out after the Chris Miles video, he got into the car and we went to fucking hide. And keep in mind, we are there for his birthday. Like he has a table, like a sign coming, like it's his fucking birthday. And that's the only reason any of us are there. Like I was so over. This was after Hunter's party, after his dinner the night before. Like everything you know what I mean and so we're there and I'm just like we're at hide whatever Amari walks in he's blacked out Kyla's new boyfriend Kyla's in a relationship Kyla hey. has a boyfriend if that's what really gets me is that Kyla and Paige both are in relationships yeah, both now, of my assistants and they literally have like two hours per week of time and I have nothing but time and no one will date me well I mean at least you have a single friend named Tana A hey. um but, anyway um Kyla's boyfriend was asking Amari to take a shot Amari was like I want a tequila double shot and it's like Ty's like I don't think you should do that and he's like no he I want already, it he like literally speaking Rubik's Cube no literally and keep in mind that like it's his birthday so obviously everyone's like well if he fucking wants it just fucking have it whatever and they go to the bar oh, to no. take a fucking shot and keep in mind, I bought Amari a Chrome Hearts fit and off-white shoes for his birthday, and he was wearing it. Um, so fucking expensive. He takes the double shot and then begins projectile vomiting oh, in hide. Brit. I'm talking like projectile, and then a bouncer or a server standing in front of him and a bouncer standing next to him. The bouncer is a grown fucking man and goes, ah, and like backs up and like, like keep in mind, their job is to like secure someone, but it was such a projectile vomit that this grown man bouncer I'm was I'm picturing scared. like pitch perfect. No, listen to this though. And then he gets the tray that they carry drinks out on. I'm talking a flat tray the flat tray. and just starts puking onto the flat metal tray and it's like water falling over the tray and then they carry him out he ruins off white shoes he ruins the chrome heart fit and then i'm just there at the club I'm with already. another one of my exes who i also went home with Which god one? um the other one that i'm like in love with but can't ever talk about because the situation's too near and dear to my heart the only person i've ever successfully dated fully secretly too Hey, nailed it. Nailed Wait, it. you want to know a fun fact? He, so the other night he was there, this guy that Tana secretly dated successfully. He was there the other night and I was thinking about him and I, cause I knew him before I knew you. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah. And like when I first met you, I went to your 21st birthday party, like the MTV thing. Yeah. Like it's not that we had just met, but like we weren't that good of friends at yeah. that time. <clears throat> and I DM'd. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. You can just bleep it. You can just bleep it. Bleep it. You can just bleep it. I DM'd him that night and I go, your friend Hunter is so hot. Do you know that he actually told me that the other night? Yes. I go, my first interaction with Brooke was her trying to get set up with Hunter. That wasn't in our first interaction. We like Because he was trying to get set up with Savannah. He also told me that. I know, which just breaks my heart now. I know, but it. like, come on. I'm if like, I married Savannah's him. everybody. If I married him in 10 years when it's time to settle down, he's not like... He's not in the public eye. He just like does stocks and like does his own little thing and whatever. If I fucking married him in 10 years, I would. He's like my best friend. He's my favorite person. It's ridiculous. And I want to say more things that happened, but that's all I can you say. You can. But I just um, thought that was the funniest thing because I literally, the first interaction, like I was literally like, why Why would you not introduce me to Hunter? He's so hot. So fucking. That's and really now funny it's just so just funny because it's like. Yeah. If you are looking to purchase the perfect gift for him that he will actually use, Manscaped is my go-to. Goodbye, Harry. Hello, clean. I love that statement. Right. This sleek, well-designed and optimized trimmer is the best thing on the market for a cleaner shave as it's waterproof and you can trim in the shower and spare the mess. 
This new sexy trimmer includes a multifunction on and off switch that can engage a travel lock and also gives your man the ability to turn the 4000K LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. His balls will thank you. Yes, I did just say that. Get 20% off today plus free shipping with the code TANA, that's T-A-N-A, at manscaped.com. Ladies, this is the perfect gift for you and your man, and trust me, he will thank you. And men, your balls will thank you. That's my favorite thing, like a gift that's actually like for you. Right. Like, I don't want hairy balls in my face. Right. So like I said, get 20% off and free shipping with the code Tana at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code Tana. That's T-A-N-A. Experience premium grooming with Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped. Speaking of keeping things off the internet, I've been off the internet for eight months and I came back today. Yay, congratulations. That's the only thing I want She's a YouTube for. superstar. I'm actually like, it's that posting a YouTube video today is like the happiest I've been doing anything in fucking eight months. I feel like it's kind of one of those things where it's like you go, you go a while and you forget that it makes you happy. Mm. So then when you do it, you're like, oh my God. Yeah, and I was just so depressed that it's like, you know, when you're so depressed, you can't do fucking anything that you love and I didn't want to like, well, it's like Be forced when you're that, like when yeah. you're in a bad place, it's like, okay, like what am I going to do? Pretend to be like, yeah. like funny and happy. Exactly. And especially like, it's one thing on TikTok and shit, but I like, I was saying this in the video. Yeah, I was it's just like, like short form, but like when your videos are always like really long, like actual, like and everyone looks knows. into like your day in like, yeah. I don't <sighs> the top like comment was so sad too. Uh, today it was like, she finally doesn't have that look in her eyes, like where she's just like glazed over and not there and like hates everything. I know, everything. you know, I read a like, comment. Well, I read a comment. They were talking about how on the podcast we look like or like we're like a little slow motion. I'm like, sorry, we drink a lot. <laughs> it's I've done so many things to my brain in this life. It isn't. I but it does make me happy because like that's how I feel like that's like old school Tana, like you being like really like like energetic. Hot, happy yes, to be like there. Super yeah. high energy. Like I see all the like, you're like my whole for you page. And Aww. it's like like you like old Tana being like. And like, just, yeah, it's like crazy. I know. I, I said that in the video, too. I always see videos of me just like and I like being so happy and young on YouTube. And I remember really thinking like, fuck, I don't ever want to lose that person again. So to like be back there means so much to me. It's funny. That's we're talking true. about being high energy where we're both just dead. You're a pickle and I'm in um, jail. Yeah, no, I'm last night was just till like 1 a.m. And then I had like an early morning meeting today. I went to bed I'm at just, 8 a.m. <clears throat> You rode your ex's dick no, until 8 a.m. No, no, no. We watched movies. Right. We did. I could tell you every movie we watched. If I make <laughs> make a couple up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No, really. I, I um, actually didn't. I really was like, we watched like Dune. But something. with that being said, also back on YouTube, I came back because a bunch of weird shit's been happening lately where I feel like my stalker's back. And I kind of went into oh that God. shit. Um, and it's funny because the other night at dinner, Brooks, I was like, I think my stalker's back. And what did you say? You said my grandma said that when she was on drugs. Okay. <laughs> no, well, I had. No, no, I under. She was joking. I was. Um, but, well, she she really did say that. That's fair. I mean, she I, had I have a confirmed windows. stalker, I promise. And so I, all this stuff has been happening where um, I felt like my stalker was back. I actually said his name, his real name in my YouTube video. Cause I like feel that that unsafe. was crazy. I got a lot of DMs about that today. I guess yeah. I like people found his like new Twitter or something. <gasps> I want to see if it's real. So yeah, if I and die, it's at the, the hands the, of his William. only likes are your tweets. Oh my god, I wonder if it's really He's him. From I Henderson ha or Nevada. Oh, that's where I'm from. Hey, we, he is from there. He's in my second grade class. But I also don't believe his it. thing He's is like Tweeter five oh six. No, but his Twitters have always been like super cryptic and not his name. So I don't think people could ever, ever, ever find it. And he would like a bunch um, of other stuff too. I would stalk it all the time. But he deleted them recently, just as all this weird shit started happening to me, which was so weird because I hadn't posted about it yet. And he deleted them just as the weird shit was happening. But I, I said in the entire video that I thought per chance. Like, I'm, I'm not confirming if I think all this weird shit is my stalker But or it not. just, like, kind of points but to that. But it could be a ghost vibe, a haunted vibe. And then I found out yesterday that a 102-year-old woman died in my house. The last person to live there. Well, not my house, but she lived on the property in a house. They tore it down and built my yeah, house. Yeah, she died. They tore her house down, and then they rebuilt. That's why, that's why her house doesn't fit into her neighborhood at all. Just, like... <laughs> One of my house is like, like a sore thumb. Sticks out like a sore thumb in the neighborhood entirely. But I mean, like it's. But if I was a ghost, I would be fucking pissed. If yeah, but I died not, in my house. Got not, torn down. She's not mad at you. 
She's not. I who, you didn't tear her house but down. But I don't want to live with an angry ghost. She's not angry. She's just disappointed. Paige, <laughs> Paige with <laughs> benefit of the doubt broke over your even to the ghost. See, I, I have like a, for some reason, this sounds so stupid. But like, you're devil's advocate. Well, no, like ghosts are like, most ghosts I feel like would be like happy. Or like they're not mean. Like the, what are the odds that your ghost happened to be like a malicious Well, bitch? I lied was written on my shower. Confirm that no one else no, did you, it. No, but you did lie. You totally wrote that. <laughs> I do lie sometimes, <laughs> but I did not write that. And it was confirmed that no one else fucking did it. So it's very weird to me. It's also Paige came in the house the other day alone and she heard whistling upstairs like dead as day. That's creepy. And then she fuck. like. <sighs> and then she left like no one was home. We were, she knew where all of us were. Hell And no. then she left and she told Lila and she begged Lila not to tell me because she was so scared that she felt like her being that scared would make me so scared. And it's completely true. Last night I slept at Kyla's apartment. Tonight, who knows where I'll fucking sleep. At this point, I'm just like. I have an empty bedroom. I, I miss you, Jazzy. I will literally fucking sleep. They're like, I'm scared to sleep in my own house. It's so fucking creepy. It's ridiculous. But I mean, whatever. Whatever. It's either a stalker or a ghost. Both are great things to be happening. I'd to rather me. have a ghost than a stalker by far. You know what's crazy? What? You'd rather I mean, have a stalker than a ghost? I maybe a, no. I mean, I guess a ghost is better because a I ghost know they can't, can't do kill as me. much like physical. Yeah, I know. A I stalker just, is I way hate. scarier than I'm a just ghost. used to having a stalker since like second grade, and paranormal That's shit actually awful. scares me. I yeah. really feel fat, bad for you for that. That's one. it's shitty. I just, it's like think about it from second grade and now. It's like all I've ever really known is William. I love being able to say his name. It's so weird. Hey, William. Hey, no, don't do that. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> take it back. Um, Who's changing Chris Miles' tattoo to katana? Oh my God, Chris Miles actually fully, um, we went back and forth. And when he first found out that I hooked up with my ex that night, he was like, I'm fucking covering the tattoo. Fuck you, da 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 da. And then, honestly, kind of adorable. I think uh, it's like, it's cute. Like when he finally realized that we might actually be broken up forever, he texts me this whole paragraph and then ends it with, and I'm keeping the tattoo. Like maybe I'll need it in the future. And a bunch of shit like that. And I I literally said something. He said something last night along the lines of like, we need this break. I'm like, baby, it's not a break. Mm. But it does make me feel bad. What I want from you guys, so like more than anything, is for you to guys be like for you guys to actually be able to be friends. Like but think about all my exes go- that are my friends. I always hook up with them. Yeah. This whole I, week. Th- it is a good point that you're making right now because there's no such thing as just being friends with you. Like either well, at all. Saying. Cause I and I don't even know that line. Like I already fuck my friends. So it's like then I you're guess, my well, ex and my friend. Is, like we're there fucking. is if you're with someone new. Like I feel like if I were like with yeah. like really like actually like involved with someone else, I wouldn't be still like hooking up with what's his name. But I guess that's true. Yeah, Brooke, I I really we should do a bachelorette for Brooke or like a speed dating on the Please, podcast. you guys, I really need. I some want help. her to be over him so bad. So I feel like we're gonna wrap this up soon because we have a lot of Halloweening to do. Um, last night was really fun being Powerpuff Girls. By far, our no. sluttiest costume. All of our like pussy lips were so, out. So I'm gl- honestly glad that the sluttiest costume was like at that event because I don't I like one I don't want to be around like. Anyone like that I like I want to like date me and be like that fucking naked. Yeah. No, I was on stage hosting this event in that and I I several, several fans showed me videos of like my literal butthole. Aww. Like it was like it was it was definitely intense. Um, but I love slutty costumes. Like I'll take it as far as possible. I loved our costumes last night. I thought that was so but cute. But we're matching all week. We're being I know we are. Tonight we're being Barbie. I have to be blonde again. I'm gonna throw it back to Mindy Times. I'm actually so excited for you to be fucking blonde with me though. That's really exciting. I know I'm going to pick up a full lace front from Lila on the way I'm home. carrying around a Barbie box tonight. She's gonna I can't even be around her. I know this is gonna be so humiliating because I know <laughs> she's gonna be knocking people out left and right. Like she's wearing a but like a like Kylie Jenner's like Barbie it's box. huge like you have to hold it with both hands it's like metal poles it's literally so fucking obnoxious huge. and like imagine like people who just walk around with like wings like ruin parties for people no it's last night people with wings I kept seeing them like hit everyone I don't know what to do about it I think I'm gonna end up taking photos and I think just, like, you take photos it. with the box but just make sure you have a good Barbie outfit otherwise like where it's like obvious that you're Barbie I think it won't be obvious but I'm just Maybe gonna be do- a pink slut yeah, that's fine. You're going to be obvious. It's going to be obvious. You know, honestly. And I'm going to be with you and I'm going to be blonde. So we're both going to be, it's going to be obvious. It'll look like we're Barbies. I guess that's true. Cause I, I mean, I cannot carry on this box all night. I don't want to be blonde at all. You can't hook up with anyone me. in the box. You can't take shots in the box. You can't really smoke. Well, weed imagine in the box. me like getting home with some guy tonight and having to take off a full wig. That's so embarrassing. That's so much less embarrassing than saying, like, I'm sorry, I'm in my box. 
<laughs> well, what do you mean? That's being in a box is not embarrassing. It's very COVID safe though, so that's good. Um, that's but good um, and then Wednesday we're being my favorite fucking costume on this planet. Or Thursday Wait, tomorrow is Wednesday. That's gonna I'm that's your favorite costume. It's my least favorite costume. Really? Well, just because I don't really like have it together yet. So, but I just love the. Bag. I love what it is. We're being Hannah Montana and Miley Stewart, and I am so. so it is gonna be cute. We're driving sure. to Malibu to the actual Hannah Montana house to shoot it. Are they gonna I'm, let us do that? People do it all the time on TikTok. Like it's definitely oh. like a trespassy vibe, but like I'm I'm here for it. If my Instagram looks great, I will trespass for it, you know? Okay. Um, I think it's a little strange because I dated her sister and I think her sister's gonna have I her. do think about that a little bit. Cause like I remember last year you got to be like Kim and who who were Kim you? And Kim Paris and Paris with Noah and now this and, year I'm and being Kim her acknowledged sister. it, but like if Miley were to see this one, she'd be like, huh. I mean, Miley always like she just sent me a package. She like acknowledges me. Really? She's really I, nice to me. She's she's um, like my like like Jesus. I mean, yeah, she was always my idol growing up, which was definitely made it strange when I like fell in love with her sister. Um, that is but tough. like uh, it, it's an iconic costume. I could see it being weird though. I could definitely see getting like a Noah text. Of Do you think like, that she's gonna be like, bitch, what the fuck? It's the way that Noah's also gonna see this, and I'm dressed as a pickle. This is the worst episode to like reference. But you look like the cutest pickle. It's just I appreciate it, but there's nothing about your ex seeing you dressed as a pickle that's enticing. Yeah, it um, is. She's gonna think you're quirky. Super fucking quirky, um, but know, Noah. yeah, I'm definitely a little nervous for that reaction. But I am really excited for this. And then, what else are we being together? I think that's all. Is that all? We were gonna be the Lizzie McGuire, the two, the I duo, know, but we didn't figure it out. Yeah, I just felt like Lizzie and Lizzie and Hannah and Miley looked like the you know same. Lizzie and Lizzie at the end of the movie when one of them is brunette and one's blonde. When she, my favorite internet moment, I keep referencing. Oh no, I referenced Gabby Hannah, but was when Trisha Paytas did that entire music video and she played both. She's such an icon. So, I, I want to have her. her back on the podcast. You with have you. to. I would love to. She just had Jordan Belfort on her. How podcast. do we get him? I, would he slid in my DMs. He slid in my DMs. He loves me. He kind of got him. Favorite me. movie. Um, and I really want to have him on the podcast, so I'm I'm about to ask him because he's just a fucking living legend. Um, but it's funny because the only clip I saw this isn't funny. It was just like so Trisha. Um, was her and Jordan Belfort sitting there, and it's just it's clipped, so I don't know the context, but it's her going. Yeah, and then everyone called me ableist for making fun of his Tourette's, but I really wasn't. And like, did it? And Jordan Belfort just like, I see that. Uh, like, it, wait. I, side note: people have been commenting on our podcast about me having Tourette's. They're like, Brooke makes me feel better about having Tourette's. I don't have Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have That's Tourette's. Not funny. I feel like we're laughing at Tourette's. It's no, just it's more not. Funny, but well, like, it, it made me laugh kind of because it was like, do I? But I don't think I do. I don't, you you don't know, when I was younger, actually, they did think I had Tourette's because I couldn't stop going. <clears throat> All the time. Whoa, I wonder if that But then is. I just stopped. I do do like weird, weird stuff all the time, but I don't think I have Tourette's. I think I'm just quirky. <laughs> Yo, my old manager, whenever I would say something horrible, he would just say Tourette's. That's actually kind of fucked up. Should I? I'm yeah. leaving it in. Fuck I should go literally like Barbies. install a wig. So I got to go. And I feel like we just delved into everything going on in our lives this week. And I'm just so dead. And a lot of this topic was definitely the reason I took a break last week. Uh, so I mean... We might do a little bit of a shorter podcast today, but thank you guys for loving us and especially loving us together. Like just you guys love a good Tana Brooke show. So I appreciate it. We love us together, too. You dig. Next week, we are coming back to you hot with a bunch of incredible guests. So I'm excited to get back on some crazy shit. But uh, today was just a chill little Halloween day where Brooks going to jail. And I'm a pickle. I'm going to jail so. for my actions. All right. I'm going to go get paparazzi that I ordered, just like all your other favorite celebrities. All right. And then I'm going to put all my ex's penises in my holes. And then I'll probably end up at Chris Miles' house in Brooklyn. I'll end up at the guy's house that she hooked up with last night. We love you so much. Thank you for fucking listening to Cancel. <laughs> Bye. And emoji is canceled. WE Talent Production.